Well, good evening, everyone, and happy holidays. We are here to start something new, to recreate an old classic, being your sweet potato souffle. If we are tired of having the marshmallows, the coconut, the pineapple, maybe the pecans and brown sugar, to give you something new, a different presentation, a different way of serving, something that will make your guests go, wow, you did that. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to take our traditional sweet potato souffle. I have already uh, boiled and mashed some regular sweet potatoes. And in my sweet potatoes, I just put some nutmeg, a little ginger, and cinnamon. And we've stirred those up. We've mashed them wonderfully. We're ready to go. Now, we're going to serve and cook these in a different vessel. What I have done already, I have taken some Valencia oranges. I have poured them out, cut me a nice little slant on the bottom so therefore they can stand up. And then around the rim, I have coated the rim with cinnamon, brown sugar, and nutmeg. Just a nice little toss like you would do with your margarita. Now, before we get started, I put just a little pat of butter in the inside and some roasted pecans. Our pecans are already in our Valencia orange. Now, we're going to take our sweet potato mixture and we're going to stuff our orange with our mixture. Give you a chance to see that. Stuffing that right in a nice little generous amount. And get it all down in there. Let me go ahead and do um, all three that we have here at once. So we don't have to worry about those later. Everything in. While we're doing this, we are going to have our oven preheating at 350. At 350 with our oven. So it'll be ready for us. I start to think about um, home so often when I'm making things like our sweet potato souffle. I just think back in the day with um, my Aunt Rita Barbara Blake would give us that traditional sweet potato souffle with um, the crushed pineapple, the shredded coconut, and then top it with the marshmallows, let those get nice and brown and fiery, and you digging in. It was a wonderful thing. Then later on, as the years went by, my mother, Mildred Douglas, saw a recipe that she said, you know what, I think my family would really like. So she took the same traditional sweet potato souffle, but instead of the marshmallows and the pineapple and the coconut, she topped it with a mixture of pecans, brown sugar, butter, a little bit of flour and cinnamon, and put that over the top. And as it baked, it created a nice little crunchy crust where you could dip down in there and you say, oh man, we're getting in there, something new. So we've done that for several years. So what I've decided this year, I'm gonna introduce something a little different for them. I have our orange vessels ready. It's our nice little rim. And what I've done in my bowl here, I have some butter, some pecans, of course, a little cinnamon, that nutmeg flavor. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add a little Grand Marnier to our mixture. Just a little, put it in there. And then of course, I put a little flour in and that flour keeps our topping from sinking down into our oranges. So right here on the top, you're going to spoon that in. You can already smell those flavors as I'm spooning in. Something about that Grand Marnier with the cinnamon, it gives you another smell and a sense. And that wonderful nutmeg is there. With nice little filling. We're getting everything in. And I will tell you ahead of time, this is that dish that will fill your home with some wonderful smells, some wonderful goodness. Also, some wonderful memories of family members that have gone on before us. I think about um, my aunt again, Rita Barbara Blake. Um, she has been gone from us about six or seven years now. And as she was making things, it was always her to come up with a new dish. You know, she introduced that asparagus casserole. She introduced a string bean and tomato salad. Those wonderful things, that good traditional 
green bean casserole. That was all her doing. And then the year that she came up with the squash casserole, I thought my father was going to have an issue. He dug right on in and enjoyed every bite of it. So, you know, I think about her really doing the holidays and really miss her and the fun that we used to have together. You know, we're, she and I both are a little saucy when it comes to the mouth and talking. So we were really saucy and sassy with each other. And there were folks that didn't understand, like, aren't they? aunt and nephew, but we giggle like good old friends. So, you know, I think about that when we're doing that. Now, once you've gotten everything in, in your casserole dish, you're just gonna plant your oranges in there, give them a little space. You don't need anything else in here. And um, what happens with this dish, I leave it open, leave it uncovered. You're gonna put it in that 30, 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. I was about to say 35, but 35 minutes at 350 and you'll be ready to go. So what happens as we're, move, we're moving in, of course, me, me being me, cleaning it, cleaning as I go, we are ready for our celebration. Now, I've already poured my wonderful glass of Prosecco. And of course, by the miracle of television, we have a wonderful product. Look at that. I'll bring it a little closer to you so you can see. That nice crust on the top. You're smelling those oranges, that cinnamon, that nutmeg. Everything is in there. So, of course, as always, we have to go in. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to dig a little to the bottom as far as I can go. Look at that steam coming up. They're fresh out of the oven. Oh, my goodness. What has happened? The orange on the side has started to seep into those potatoes and make it a wonderful blend. And we're ready to go. I can't say anymore. I'm going to leave it at that. So, again, lighten up this Christmas. Cheers to the holidays. Hopefully these recipes will appear at your table. If you ever have a question, please feel free to leave us a comment here on Facebook. Leave us a comment at our YouTube channel, Cooking with Dr. Mo on YouTube, and even on Instagram. We're there as well. So, cheers to the season. Lighten up. It's Christmas.